What's up, y'all? This is Keon with Executive Cuts Landscaping. And as y'all can see, I got stung in the lip by Hornet. Yeah. Got stung in the lip by Hornet today. Um, I was cutting the property. Um, just with my headphones on, just chilling. And um, y'all know how it is. You get into your zone. I ended up getting a phone call. I was talking. And... I'm telling y'all, man, I just seen something black and white fly towards my face. When they, after it landed, I felt fire, okay? I'm talking about straight up fire. Um, and I didn't just feel it on my lip. I felt it on my arm. The burning sensation was insane, all right? Um, so one of the things you want to do when you out there, um, one of the lessons I had to learn myself is making sure that I'm walking the property to see because the 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 nest was inside of a bush that was um located by the fence of the property okay and um with the, with the tremors on I'm just trimming just doing my thing on the move and I just feel fire hitting me and then like I say it was I end up looking up the bee to see what kind of bee it was because I came back and seen it wasn't yellow jackets um, which is the regular honeybees and stuff that's normally in the yards over here in Maryland. I don't know about your area. But um, these bees were really aggressive. I got stung four times, once in the lip, and three times on my arm. Um, it was probably the worst feeling I probably ever felt in life thus far. Um, not to say I know it's going to be worse things to happen. But um, just... You know, just lesson learned, just making sure that we paying attention out there um, and being safe. Um, so, you know, I had to do a video to let y'all see um, if something happens to me out there doing this, it's something I should, might bring to your attention. This, you might be, this a property that I've been doing for years, so it's not like it's, I did anything abnormal. I just never paid attention to this huge hive. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put a picture of the hive and how I figured out what kind of bee it was. Um, I'm gonna put a picture of it up here so that y'all can see it, all right? Um, but again, one of the worst um, pains I feel like that I ever felt in life. So it's just making sure, you know, you stand focused and you paying attention when you out there because it can be imperative. Um, as y'all can see, so it says it go down about 24 hours. Um, I ended up having a, I, I really, I really don't have allergic reactions to anything. Um, a few, like a month ago, I got stung by some wasps. So I ain't do a video on that one, um, but that one stung me up in my chin, um, in the, on the top of my forehead here, uh, like at the the, the the bridge of my top of my head, I got stung. Um, but I knew it was something different. These are some different type of bees um, because I ended up swelling up really fast. Um, my lip was probably about double the size it is right now, okay? And right now it's not being big. But um, I start, after I took the Benadryl, I was talking to my fiance and um, we got off the phone and I had to pull over um, Cause I started feeling dizzy, started feeling real dizzy and crazy. And I felt like something wasn't right. Um, and I didn't want to crash or anything. So I pulled over and there's seen a couple of guys sitting over there. Um, I walked over and just let the guy know, um, let the few guys that were standing there know they didn't speak any English. So it was another guy standing there. I went over to let him know. I just wanted him to observe me to make sure that I don't pass out by myself in the truck or be driving um just somebody to um just look out for me and um i feel like god put them there just to have a conversation with me because i started feeling a little bit better um so we talked for a few minutes and things like that um he gave me like these poor um these alcohol type wipes that's um made to try to you know keep infection and everything out of it so um i was able to use those 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 little uh napkins and get the stuff cleaned off and then I was able to wash my arms off and stuff like that. Um, my fiance ended up coming to meet me to follow me home. So that way, you know, anything happened, 
somebody's right there with me, all right? So I was able to make it home safe. But it was one of those, like I say, learning moments in life um, where you might just be, you might just have to get these lessons sometimes to know that you need to be more alert when you're out here because there's always dangers around lurking. It could be snakes. It could, this time it was bees. It could be a snake. It could be anything. Just staying alert, especially with those headphones on. It's easy to zone out and get into what you're listening to and not pay attention to something that be happening around you. Every time I ever got stung by bees, I was into what I was listening to instead of focusing on what's around me because there's still dangers out here, y'all. There's still dangers out here. Um... And we out here working, all right? So just stay safe out there. Um, but I'm fine. Um, I just wanted to let y'all see this. Um, they say it should go down in about 24 hours. So um, we'll see how it's looking on tomorrow. But I called it quits for the day once that happened. Um, I just about to feel all right. And I don't know if it was a defender drill that had me woozy or whatever. But I was just feeling like I was going to pass out. So I had to cut it short, you know. So, um I appreciate y'all watching the video. Make sure y'all stay prayed up, all right? Make sure y'all keep me your faith in God. Making sure that he ble to help bless you in your business, you keep your faith in him, okay? And make sure when you're doing these businesses and you're in these business ventures that you continue in to ask God to, to guide you in these situations that you that you put yourself into before you decide to do it on your own. So if you're thinking about getting in landscaping, just pray on it. Wait for your answer and God will always answer your prayers in due time, all right? So I appreciate y'all. Hit that like and subscribe button if it's your first time to the channel. Make sure that you share the content if you find this helpful. Um, I appreciate y'all for helping the channel grow. Make sure you keep marketing. Make sure you keep promoting. Make sure you keep having people putting the benefit that you win right with you as far as your name, okay? I appreciate y'all. See y'all the next one.